Hi, I'm Erica Gamet, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the auto fit command. We use this when working with graphic frames so that we can continually fit our images in the way we've set them up. I'm going to select all the images on this page, and I notice the auto fit command shows up here, and it's unchecked. It's not applied to any of these images. If you're not seeing the auto fit command, you might need to go into the little gear icon in your control panel and make sure that frame fitting object is selected. So auto fit is turned off for these images, and I do want to set up the frame fitting options for these images. So I'll go over to the object menu, come down to fitting, and choose fill frame proportionally. Now in this case, the frames are all set to the same proportions as the images. Let's change that. I'm going to go into preview mode so I can see my frame edges, and then I'm going to select this little guy in the lower left, and I'm going to change the size and orientation of his frame. So let's just make his frame a little bit bigger. And then to fill frame proportionally again, I would have to go back to the object menu, choose fitting, and fill frame proportionally. Let's do the same thing with the guy in the upper left here. We'll make more of a square image, and I may or may not need to readjust his fitting. In this case, when I readjusted it, of course, it centered it up, and I just need to recrop where he sits. Now let's turn on auto fit and see what happens. I'm going to select all of these images and select auto fit. Now when I go back and make changes to the size of the frames or the orientation of the frames, if I decide I do want this to actually be a wide frame, I'm going to click and hold so we actually see what's happening. As I do that, the image is constantly refitting to what I've chosen, which is fill frame proportionally. So it keeps it in proportion and constantly fills up the frame so that I never have that white gap between the image and the frame itself. Even if I make a really short wide frame, he still fills that and again I may just have to move the image to fit a little bit better. Now I don't need to wait until I've placed images to assign that auto fit. I can either set my frame fitting options on a document by document basis or I can even set it so that it's the default for all new documents. In this case, let's make it the default for this particular document. With nothing selected, I'll go back to the object menu, come down to the fitting submenu, and choose frame fitting options. Now we can set all of our frame fitting options here, including that fill frame proportionally. I won't even have to choose that separately, but also I can come in here and choose auto fit. Now every new image that I import into this document will automatically have auto fit applied to it. We'll say OK to that. Now let's delete this little guy and we'll bring him back in. Here's our puppy. And then I can bring him in. Let's bring him into that tall frame that we had him in before, holding down the shift key. And it automatically filled the frame to proportion and auto fit is assigned. So if I decide later, oops, I really did want this in a wide frame, I can do that here. One place that I use auto fit a lot is when I'm doing grids of photos and I'm using the gap tool. So I'm just going to use the gap tool and I just want to show you what happens when using that. If you're not familiar with the gap tool, be sure to check out how to use that. But as I change the gap and the images on either side of the gap, I can change that super quickly because I have auto fit applied. I don't have to go and readjust each of those images separately. So as I play with the gap and change the size here and here, the images adjust accordingly. So that's how to make sure that your frame fitting options stay even as you change the size of your frame or move the image around. Well, I hope you found this tip helpful. For thousands more InDesign articles and tutorials, be sure to visit InDesignSecrets.com. While you're there, sign up for our free InDesign Tip of the Week email. Thanks for learning with us.